Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to knit the eye of partridge stitch. And that is all I have to say for the intro. So here's my little sample and I've split it in half. So this first half is just normal stuck in it stitch and then the second half is the eye of partridge stitch just so you can kind of see the difference because there is not that huge of a difference. Um, the main thing is that the eye of partridge stitch creates this kind of thicker fabric. It almost looks like a one by one ribbed stitch, but it's not. It's just kind of like a stock in it stitch on steroids, I guess you could say. Um, so I'll do the first half just normal stock in it stitch knitting, and then I'll show you how to do the eye of partridge stitch. So starting out, I'm just gonna knit all the way through to that halfway point where I've started the eye of partridge stitch. When you're ready to start the actual eye of partridge stitch, the pattern is slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, all the way to the end. Um, so you're slipping a stitch, then you're knitting the next stitch, slipping the next stitch, knitting the next, slip knit, slip knit, all the way to the end. Um, and what that does is it builds up this thicker fabric. So the, th the skipped stitches uh, create these kind of larger V's in the knitting, and then the smaller ones that are just normal stock in it knits those are gonna fall in between and eventually it'll create this kind of, it's kind of a ribbed pattern, but technically it's not. So to start out, you just do the slip stitch first. So we're gonna slip this one. Just put your needle in as if you were going to knit it and then you just slip it off. It's that easy. And then the next stitch, you're going to just knit it like normal. The next stitch, you're slipping that one too. So slip it off as if you were going to knit it but don't actually knit it. And then the next one, you're gonna knit. The next one, you slip off. And then knit the next one. So slip off, knit, slip off, knit. It almost feels like you're doing something bad, like you're making a, a terrible mistake or something. Um, but you're not, you're doing a slip stitch. So slip that off, knit that. Got two more left, I'm gonna slip it off and knit that stitch. Cool. So when you turn it over, you're gonna purl the whole backside just like normal all the way through. You don't need to worry about doing a knit stitch or doing any slip stitch or anything like that, just purl all the way through. It will feel a little weird to purl the, the stitches that you've slipped just because it, it, it just, it'll, you'll get that feeling you feel when you know you've made a terrible mistake in your knitting and like, you, like you've missed a, a stitch or you've, you've dropped one or something like that and it's created that like loose feel, that, that terrible, terrible loose feeling. Um, but that's normal, that's okay. Just purl those stitches like normal, um, even if they feel a little weird or if they're coming undone. So purl all the way through and then we'll take a look at the front. Back on the front side, and I've zoomed in the camera a little bit just so you can kind of see what we've done. Um, we've got a new row of skipped stitches up here, or I guess slipped stitches, not skipped, they're slipped. Um, and that's just continued these columns of thick, uh, thick V's, and that's what creates this thick fabric. And that's basically it. For the next row, you're gonna do the exact same thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Um, just do my normal stockinette stitch through here, and then we'll switch to eye of partridge halfway. Um, the eye of partridge stitch is usually used for socks. When you're doing the heel flap of the sock, if you've I think I mentioned it in my sock tutorial. I'm not sure. I didn't do it in the sock tutorial just because I, I wanted to keep things simple. But usually if you're knitting the heel flap, you can do the eye of partridge stitch on that just because it creates a slightly thicker fabric. And I guess the idea is because that's the heel, that's the part of the sock that's like rubbing against the inside of a shoe or something. But I mean, it's, 
it's not necessary to do. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of the eye partridge stitch, just because it feels so uncomfortable when you're doing it. It feels like you're 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 doing something wrong because you're you're skipping stitches and, and it just feels weird. But I guess some patterns do call for it, so that's how you do them. Um, I'm back on the part where we can do the skipped ones, and so I guess I'll just show you it one more time um, since the camera's closer now. So uh, we're going to do the slipped stitches uh, on the exact same spots that we did them on the last row. Um, so start out just slipping that off, knitting the next one, slipping that off, knitting the next one, and slip and knit. Um, common question is do you have to slip the stitch off as if you were going to knit it? So for these ones, I'm putting my needle through the left side of the stitch and I'm slipping it off as if I was going to knit it. And then I go ahead and I knit the other one. Does it matter if you don't do it that way? Um, it doesn't matter. Some people will say otherwise, but it really doesn't matter. You can put your needle in the stitch as if you were going to purl it instead. That's actually kind of an easier way of doing it, a quicker way. Just slip your needle in as if you were going to purl it along the front and pull it off. That is perfectly okay. I mean, if you're like a knitting purist, I'm sure there is a difference. It, it, it will kind of change, have a slight change to the fabric. But on this sample, I've switched it up a couple times and, and there's really no difference in the long run. So, I mean, you can purl, it, slip it off purl-wise if you want, slip it off knit-wise, it really has no effect on the knitting. So, slip it off purl-wise, knit, slip it off purl-wise, knit, slip off this last one, knit-wise, just to be changing things up, and knit. One last thing that you can actually do with the eye of partridge stitch is you can actually switch up. Instead of doing, like you can see these nice columns of V's that I have, you can switch it up so it's a checkerboard pattern by just doing the alternative things. So on the next row you would slip the stitch that you had knit and then knit the stitch that you had slipped in the previous row. So just offset things by one to create a buildup of a checkerboard. And what that would do is it would not look as nicely lined like this. It would kind of have a diamond pattern to it, which also looks nice too. And it still creates that buildup of thick stitches. Hopefully this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.